Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing a video where I clear out my skincare cupboard, clear out my um, bathroom shelves, basically. I'm in full on clear out mode. I've just done my wardrobe. I think it's because it's like such a sunny day and I'm going away next week, so I needed to do my wardrobe anyway. But I'm just in the mood for clearing out. And every now and again, me and Rich go through our cupboards in the bathroom because I obviously get sent so many products that I get a bit overloaded with stuff and I like to keep it as simple as I can. There's always a few products on the go that I'm trying but I like to have my staples there. Anyway, it's become a bit of a mess so I'm going to clear through it. I don't know how much stuff I'm going to actually get rid of. I think mainly it will just be about organising, like take everything out and then putting everything back in in a better order but there might be some things along the way that I can talk to you guys about and like give you mini reviews. If I'm getting rid of it I'll tell you why um, and talk you through some of my favourite skincare products. So I will bring you into my bathroom which is here and we can go through the cupboards together. I was gonna make this like a fancy swishy video but I think it's just so much easier to do it vlog style and I hope you guys don't mind, I'm sure you don't. So let's get on with this because I feel like this could be a really long video. Okay so let's go into the bathroom and as I told you guys before this cabinet is from Ikea. When we first got the flat there wasn't much storage so I wanted to get a big cabinet with lots of space inside. On the left hand side, I'm probably not going to do this today because it's basically, I've got like some epilators up there. Um, this is all travel stuff and like sun cream that I'll probably keep all of that. These two shelves are all for rich and then I've got like um, cotton wool eye makeup remover so I don't think I'm going to do the left side but we can do this side which is where all of my skincare is so sorry that you guys are having to see me in the reflection by the way but that's what it's like when you've got a mirrored cabinet. At the top I've got some like foot stuff and then I've got these are all backups up here so like spare products that I know I already love. Those are all kind of face masks, makeup remover wipes. And then it's a bit of a free-for-all. It did have some order originally, but it's all just got a bit messed up. So I think the first thing I'm gonna do is take everything off the shelf, put it in a big bag, go into another room, sort through it, and then come back in and put it all back on the shelves in some kind of order. Sorry that the light is so rubbish in my bathroom. We have no windows, no natural light in here. So I'm just gonna look a bit orange. Okay, I've now emptied everything and whilst I have them bare like this because it's not often I'm going to give them a good clean because they're a little bit sticky. I'm going to get some glass cleaner and just wipe these down. Okay the first three things um, that are kind of the biggest in the cupboard are my glycolic acids. So I've got a giant one from Pixie that has my name on it. Um, I love the Pixie Glow Tonic so I'm definitely going to keep that. But this is also a Pixie Glow Tonic and although it's in a really cool bottle, it, I just don't really use it because this one's so much easier in a pump. So I'm going to give this one to a friend that would really appreciate it. And then this is the one from The Ordinary, which I'm also really enjoying. So I'm just going to keep both of these for now. Okay, I've just pulled everything out of the bag and I've moved you guys over here. Let's start with cleansers. Um, I've got my Oscar Renaissance cleanser, which I love, so I'm definitely going to keep that. And then I've got four kind of travel sizes. This feels really extreme, although they're not that big to store. Um, and I bought them, it was in a sale online, they were like five pounds each. So I'm just gonna keep them because I know I'm always gonna love this cleanser. I've got the Lizelle Cleanse and Polish on the go, and then I've got two backups, which I think is quite extreme, especially as I get sent these quite often. So I'm gonna give one to a friend and just keep one backup because I don't think I'm gonna need two backups. I've got the Caroline Hirons Pixie Double Cleanse, which I really, really like. Um, and I've got a backup of that as well. I'm gonna keep those. And I've got a Clinique Take the Day Off. This is good when I'm wearing like lots of makeup, um, so I like to keep that. This is a kind of new cleanser for me. It's the La Roche-Posay Makeup Remover Micellar Water Gel. It's very different to any other formula I have. Um, I think when I eventually get my hands on the Glossier one, it might replace this, but for now, as this is different to the others, I'm gonna keep it. This is the Votary Super Seed Cleansing Oil, and I'm gonna give this away because I'm not massively into oil cleansers. They're just a little bit too messy for me. I prefer like a gel to oil formula like the Oscia one. And then obviously my Clarins Instant Eye Makeup Remover. I've got quite a few of these dotted around and lots of backups, but I always, always use it. It's my favorite makeup remover, so definitely keeping that. Those are all the cleansers. I've got some oils here, so I'll talk through these with you. I've got the Sarah Chapman Morning Facial and Overnight Facial. I'm definitely gonna give away the morning facial because I don't tend to use oils in the morning anymore. And then I don't know what to do. Like I quite like the overnight facial. Actually I loved it and I've used it for years. 
I'm not really using it much at the moment, but I'm not sure if that's just because of the warmer weather. I think I'm gonna keep this. I've got so many other oils though, so I definitely need to get rid of some others. This one is the Super Mood Youth Glow Radiance Oil. It looks like something I haven't even got around to trying yet, so I'm gonna pass that on. This little one from Kypris, or Kypris, however you say it, um, is almost finished, so that can go in the bin. And then I've got a giant one from that same brand, the Beauty Elixir One, which I don't tend to use because I think this one's a little bit too heavy for me. This is new from The Ordinary, it's their organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil. I'm really enjoying this, so I'm going to keep that one with the Sarah Chapman. This is the Lizelle Super Skin Concentrate for Night. I do really like this. Um, I'm not sure whether to keep it or not, though, because how many oils does one person need? Hmm. I've also got the Elemis Superfood Oil, which I like, but it's almost finished, so I think I'll get rid of that one. Maybe I'll keep the Lizelle one instead. Okay, and then the last two oils. The Voteri Super Seed Facial Oil, I'm going to give that away because I don't love it as much as the others. And then this is the Sunday Riley Lunar Sleeping Night Oil. I think I'm also going to give this away because I just haven't used it in ages, which I think this is the blue one. Yeah, I find it just, I don't like that it's blue, I find it a little bit messy. So I'm going to keep those three oils, I think, for now. I've got the La Roche-Posay Cera Zinc here and I really like that. I don't use it that often, but I've only got one, so I'm just going to keep it. This is all my stuff from Margaret Dabs, which is a really nice brand um, if you like foot creams and things like that. I was given these and kept them thinking that I would give myself a pedicure sometime, but I just don't. I'm just never going to be that person who gives myself a pedicure. So I've got here the exfoliating foot mousse, uh, the foot cream, there's like a foot spray, a foot serum. Maybe I've even got one of those like foot shaver things, which I've never used. So I'm going to give all of these away. And then here I've got some face wipes. I don't really tend to use face wipes that often, mainly for getting stains out of my clothes. <laughs> But it's good to have them, especially if I'm like trying beauty products and stuff. I've got Estee Lauder ones and Clinique ones, but to be honest, these, these Clinique ones are amazing. So I'm just going to keep these because there's more anyway. I think I'll give these Estee Lauder ones away. This is my huge pile of God knows what. I've had these for so long, so I think I need to be brutal because I always keep these. These are like the, these are the Estee Lauder eye masks. I always think these thinking I'll use them on a plane and I do sometimes, but I have so many. I don't know if I'm going to go through them all. Let me check, these are all the same. So I've got a box of Estee Lauder eye masks. And then I've got the the Skin Iceland ones, although these are the Firmin eye gels. I don't like the Firmin ones, so I'm definitely gonna give those away. More Estee Lauder, let me put these in the box. And then they're all in one place. Oh, I keep finding more of the Estee Lauder. I think it makes sense to me to just keep the Estee Lauder ones because they're in a box. And then the others give away. I've got like Elemis eye masks, Skin Iceland, what are these? Guerlain and an Estee Lauder face mask. I'm going to give all of these away because I just don't use them. And it's such a waste if they're just sitting in my cupboard. Okay, moisturizers. This is the Ginseng moisturizer from Origins. I used to really like this. I feel like now I'm nearly 30. It doesn't quite do enough for me. So I think I'm going to give this away. I don't think Rich needs it because he's got a couple of Origins moisturizers that he already likes. This is one from Lizelle, which I like, but again, I find it just a bit too simple for me at the moment. So I'm going to pass this one on as well. I'm loving this. I'm loving this. It's the Kat Berkey Vitamin C Intensive Face Cream. This is the moisturizer I'm using the most at the moment. Really, really loving it, morning and night, mainly in the evening. And then this is the Skin SkinCeuticals Redness Neutralizer. I was recommended this in my skin consultation because apparently I've got red skin, even though you can't really see it, it is red, so this will help with that. I just don't find it that enjoyable to use. I don't like the smell or the texture. I find it quite hard to spread around my face. So I feel like I should keep this because it's gonna help with the redness, but I don't love using it. So I might just give it another go and see how I feel. This is the Estee Lauder Wake Up Balm, which I was using as a morning moisturizer for so long. I really like it, but I've realized that it's not moisturizing enough as that. But what I'm gonna do is add it to my makeup collection and use it more as a primer because it's so nice and glowy. This is new from The Ordinary. It's the Natural Moisturizing Factor HA. I'm not 100% sure on this. I don't think it's my favorite. I mentioned, I did a blog post on The Ordinary. Oh yeah, I mentioned to you guys in my May favorites, I was gonna do a video on this but I ended up doing a blog post so go check that out I'll put it in the description box if you haven't seen it this was probably my least favorite thing that I've tried it's just a bit too basic for me I think I'm gonna give that away I've just realized that that's quite a good one to travel with because that is gonna be way too big maybe I'll keep this for traveling this is the pixie glotion day dew it's quite nice 
not my fave. I think I'm gonna pass this on. And then I've got this one, which is from Environ. It's it's the, it's called Colostrum Gel, which I'm sure is meant for something else. I don't know. I got recommend this. I got recommended this when I had a Sarah Chapman facial. It's to help with like pollution and stuff. But I never end up using it because it it just looks really scary and I don't really understand it. So I'm gonna take a picture, send it to Caroline Hirons, and ask her if I should be using this or not, and see what she says. And then I've got a couple of SPFs. This is the Prevage City Smart, um, and this is tinted, if I remember correctly. It's SPF 50 and it's tinted. So I guess that's quite good when you're on holiday, but when it comes to SPF, there's just like a few brands I really trust. Um, La Roche-Posay is one of them, and I use this every morning. It's the Anthelios XL. 50 plus. I don't know. Maybe I'll try this. I haven't tried this in a while So maybe I'll try this tomorrow and see if the tint actually does anything because then it might be good one to wear Like when I'm on holiday and I don't want to wear foundation I think I'm gonna keep both for now and see but this one is definitely a favorite of mine I have so many like serums and stuff. The first one is from La Roche-Posay and this is the Redermic R It's a retinoid cream and I really it works on my skin But I've also recently been using the ordinary advanced retinoid 2% this one makes my face peel. The Roche Posay one makes my face peel, which I don't love. Um, like peel in a really weird way that you just look like you haven't washed. Whereas I really like this one, so I think I'm gonna give away the Roche Posay one and just carry on with the ordinary one. This is the Bakel Jaluronic um, Deep Hydration Serum. I love this, but it's so expensive. I'm gonna finish it up, and then from now on, instead, I'm gonna use the ordinary hyaluronic acid because this is such a great dupe for this they're so similar and this is like eight pounds or something crazy this is the pixie overnight glow serum it's an exfoliating gel so i've got a few of these i've got i've got a sarah chapman overnight exfoliating serum maybe that's it maybe it's just those two i think i'll keep the pixie one and give away the sarah chapman one this is the la roche posay redermic c10 it's a really good anti-aging serum it helps with wrinkles firming lines all of that so i'm enjoying using that in the morning occasionally this is the sarah Chapman Intense Hydrating Booster, which I used to love, but now I'm really enjoying the Ordinary Hyaluronic um, Acid. So I'm gonna use that one instead, and I'll give the Sarah Chapman away. I'm actually getting rid of quite a lot of stuff. This is impressive. I have two Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repairs. Oh, these are such an old favorite of mine. I don't tend to use them that much anymore, but I know if someone would talk about them, I'd get FOMO. I think this one's really full, whereas this one's not, so maybe I'll just keep the full one. I don't need two. This is from The Ordinary. It's the Azaleac Acid suspension so this is a brightening formula I'm still kind of testing this out it's quite new to me so I haven't quite decided yet I'll keep it for now and then I've got a few Kypris products Moonlight Catalyst which actually if I've got the pixie don't think I need both clearing serum which actually is quite good when I'm spotty so I think I'll keep that the antioxidant dew which I did love but I just don't tend to use it much anymore and I got a reaction to it which made me scared even though I actually haven't reacted to it but you know when you kind of fall out of love with products I still think this is a really good brand but I don't think it's something I would repurchase and there's just other things that I'm enjoying at the moment. So I don't think I'll keep the Moonlight, Moonlight Catalyst or the Antioxidant Dew. And then I also have a backup of the Antioxidant Dew, so I'm gonna give that away as well. I've got a couple of products from Kiehl's here. The Midnight Recovery Concentrate, which is just an old favorite, so I like to keep it in case. Um, and the Daily Reviving Concentrate. I haven't really got around to trying this yet and just, I've got so many things to try. Um, I think someone else would enjoy that more than me. From The Ordinary, the Glucoside Solution. So this is a brightening vitamin C serum that I'm enjoying at the moment. So quite a lot of serums to keep, but I like to switch those up every now and again, so I don't mind having quite a few. I've got three eye creams here, um, and I know I'm going to keep out of the three the Aven Physio Lift one, because I've been using this recently and really, really enjoying it. I'm going to give away my Darfan gel cream and my Estee Lauder one. Really like the Estee Lauder one. I think I'm enjoying the Aven one more, and I think it does a bit more for me. I've got some tanning products here. This I am loving, it's new from Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Overnight Bronze and Glow Mask, love that. My absolute favorite, Clarins Liquid Bronze Self Tanning, and I'm definitely gonna keep that. I've also got a backup of that. I've got a backup of that um, makeup remover as well. Oh, whilst I'm on backups, I've got some Sarah Chapman products, which I'm gonna give away. This is the Intense Hydrating Booster. This is the Ultra Recovery Booster, actually, which I haven't tried yet, so I think I'll keep that. Back to tanning, Vita Liberata, 
self-tanning serum. Someone recommended this to me and they always look so tanned. It just gets really grubby, but this is a brand new one, so maybe I'll keep it as it's not summer yet, so I don't know if I wanna use it or not. Okay, I've got some masks here. I have the Aesop Parsley Seed Mask, which is just one of my absolute favorites. Definitely keeping that. The Origins Drink Up Intensive Mask, which I feel like doesn't do much for me anymore, but it's such an old favorite and the smell is so nostalgic that I wanna keep it. And then I've got the Charlotte Tilbury Goddess Skin Clay Mask. I know a lot of people love, I find it a bit too heavy, and when I take it off, I, I could just feel too much on my skin afterwards. So I'm gonna give that one away. And then I've got this brush that I use to apply the masks with. I have the Fresh Sugar Lip Polish, which I love. This is from Cypress, it's the Glow Refining Mask. Um, I don't use this, so I'm gonna give that away. And then I've also got something from Peter Thomas Roth, which is the Peeling Gel. Again, don't really like this. There's a lot of products from Peter Thomas Roth that I don't seem to get on with, and they kind of I think my skin is too sensitive for the brand or something like that, so I'm gonna give that one away. I've got the Lizal Eye Bright, which I just like to have on hand. Um, it's a nice soothing product when my eyes are feeling a little bit sore. And then I've got the Sarah Chapman Overnight Lip Concentrate, which I don't really get on with. You guys know I react really easily to lip products, so I'm gonna give that one away. And then, yeah, I think all I've got here is the Omaravitska Queen of Hungry Mist, which I really like as a face mist, so definitely keeping that. Oh my God, I have a dead foot. Okay, so I've gone through the entire bag of products and I think I've done really well. I've probably got rid of a third, maybe. Everything in the bag is to keep and then all of this stuff I'm going to give away. So let's go back into the bathroom and I will put them all back onto the shelf in some kind of order and hopefully will stay that way. There isn't really an easy way for me to film myself putting everything back on the shelf without someone here helping me, so I'm gonna kind of just put them on, figure it out, and then show you guys what I've done. Guys, look how much better this is. It looks like there's loads because it's mirrored, but there's so much less stuff in here now. So working from the bottom, I'm gonna show you, I've got the cleansers that I use the most, Oscar Renaissance Cleanser, and the La Roche-Posay one with the Lizelle behind it. And then I've kind of got it in order of how I use the products. I've got my eye cream here and my morning serum. And then I've got the two ordinary products here because I'm using those at the moment with my Bakel behind because I wanna use that up. I've then got um, a few moisturizers here. I can actually spread them out a bit. Bring that one forward. And then I've got a couple of SPFs. On this shelf, I've got my eye bright, my sprays, and then I've got a couple of masks and a brush. And then up here, I've got tanning products, other cleansers I don't use as often, and then kind of evening products. Actually, do you know what? I'm gonna switch these around. One moment. Right, this makes more sense to me to have my masks there. And then on the second shelf, I've got my, my evening products. So I've got three oils, the one I use the most at the front. I've got the Pixi Overnight Glow Serum and the Ordinary Retinoid with the clearing serum behind, because I don't use that as often, the Kiehl's product behind, and then the Ordinary Brightening Formula on the front, and the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair in the back. And then up here, I've got all my spares, so spare eye makeup removers, spare pixie cleansers, spare Oscar cleansers, spare tanning, and spare Liz L makeup wipes, eye gels. And then I haven't put anything on the top because I can't reach it, so anything up there is not really gonna get used anyway. Look how great that looks. I'm really happy with that. I'm gonna put my Pixie Glow Tonic here next to my lip exfoliator. That was actually really quick and painless and I've still got time now to go and see my nephew. It's his first birthday today, so I need to buy him a present and then go and see him. And I'm glad I've just got that done. Hopefully this has inspired you guys to have a bit of a clear out because it does make you feel great and it's my favorite thing to do this time of year. Now I feel like I can actually enjoy my products and look forward to using them in the morning and in the evening. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, or comments please leave them below this video as i said i did a blog post on the ordinary skincare range so i will link that in the description box below and i think that's everything for now if you haven't seen my last video i will link it here along with a button if you'd like to click to subscribe i will see you guys in the next one bye